The story comes to us from FoxLA.com. Out of San Bernardino County, there's a video that some people are saying is disturbing. Um, I'll let you decide on this story, but a disturbing, they're saying it's a disturbing cell phone video. Shows a San Bernardino County deputy wrapping his arm around a suspect's neck and then slamming him to the ground. Anthony Armandares told Fox 11 he was on his way home from work over the weekend when he pulled up to his apartment in the 10,100 block of Foothill Boulevard. He noticed a San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department deputy following him with his lights on. Um, now, Armandares told Fox 11's news desk on Monday he had no idea he was being pulled over. Uh, he goes, I had no idea he was pulling me over. I was just driving along. At least he was watching the road, right? Um, Armandares told Fox 11 he asked the deputy why he was being pulled over. And the deputy allegedly told Armandares he was speeding. The cell phone video taken by a witness shows the deputy trying to take Armandares into custody. And as the deputy tried to arrest Armandares, the man told Fox 11 that the deputy allegedly twisted his wrist. In addition to allegedly twisting his wrist, the deputy, uh, the video shows the deputy putting Armandares in a chokehold, twisting him and throwing him into the ground. <clears throat> no, officer, I'm not really. No, he's not. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! What's going on? What are you doing? Bro, I'm gonna call your friends. He has friends in the sheriff's department right now. I'm gonna call them and have you. What am I being arrested? Bro, Get what are you? Away from me. I'm not. I'm no. not close to you. No. I'm not close to you. What are you doing? Away from me. Back I'm not close. How am I close to you? What am I being arrested for? You literally slammed my. Do you see this guy? Put your hands on your back. For what? Put your hands on your back. What am I being arrested for? Put your hands on your back. For Stop what? Stop resisting. Put your hands on your back. Can sir. you give me my Miranda rights? Am I being arrested? Honestly, officer. Stop it. What are you doing? He's oh not resisting. God, He's not God. resisting. I'm not resisting arrest. Armandaris said he's traumatized by this incident. And he said, I have friends and family that are cops. And for a cop to do that to me, it sucks. It's traumatizing. I would have never thought that this would ever happen to me, especially being compliant with an officer. Armandares also obtained surveillance video of the arrest, which shows him putting his hands in the air to follow officers' orders. Armandares says, As soon as I said, I'm not resisting, he put me in a chokehold, flipped me over, and slammed me to the ground, and put his whole body weight on me. I actually have numbness in one hand from how hard he put the cuffs on. He slams my head while trying to shove me into his patrol car. I was in shock. I couldn't believe this was actually happening to me. Now, Armandera said he went to the Sheriff's Department on Monday to obtain his police report, but was told it would take two to three weeks to process. And they always say it takes a while because, uh, especially if you're getting body camera footage because they have to go through it, make sure they give you the right narrative. Armandera said, I'm probably not the first person this has happened to. Uh, regarding that officer. I just want the right things to happen. If his badge gets taken away or he's just on office duty, I don't know, but that man shouldn't be on patrol. I just want justice for myself and for people. This shouldn't happen to a hardworking citizen that's just coming home from work. Now, San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department said the incident is under investigation, and they said the takedown was done to gain control of the suspect. Gain control of somebody that's like, I'm not resisting. I'm going to gain control of you anyway. Boom! Um, they issued the following statement from San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department. The deputy was attempting to handcuff the uncooperative suspect after a reckless driving incident and the suspect pulled his hands away from the deputy. The deputy initiated a, take, initiated a takedown to gain control of the suspect. The suspect was arrested and booked for reckless driving and resisting a peace officer. As with the case with every application of force by a deputy, the incident is being investigated at multiple levels. Now I'm going to let you decide uh, how you feel about the um, statement by the Sheriff's Department and the statements made by this guy, Armandares. Uh, you know, I always hear people say, well, there's 
your side, your side, and then the truth is somewhere in the middle. People always say that. But what if the truth is literally on one of the sides? Like, what if one of these people is telling the truth, whether the Sheriff's Department statement said he was uncooperative and recklessly driving? Or what if Armendariz is telling the truth when he says, I was speeding, all right, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't paying attention, whatever. Maybe he was on his phone or something. Who knows? We're just guessing based on the fact that he didn't even see the cop trying to pull him over. I mean, you would I thought you would have seen a flash in the mirror and go, whoa, what? Um, but either way, we have something here that's very questionable. Very questionable. 